welcome back to another fly tying video. Today we are going back to the Rangeley region to explore another pattern from the area. Uh, this fly is aptly named the Lady Rangeley. So let's get started. I'm going to start with a size 8 nymph wet hook in the vise. I'm going to start some 210 UTC thread in white. I'm just going to make a thread base here and snip off the tag as I get to about the barb. I'm going to slide a piece of monofilament through the hook eye. You can cut these as long as you'd like. Uh, the length of this monofilament will obviously determine the overall length of your fly. Now I'm going to grab some fine or small silver tinsel. I've got two-sided tinsel. I'll be tying this with the silver side down. That way when I wrap towards me, it will flip around and be silver. So just taking some touching turns back down to the barb, and I'm going to grab some orange floss here. I've got some Danville's four strand. Just going to tie in the tag end slightly longer than the body and tie this up towards the hook eye. Try to get nice, even touching turns here if you'd like a smooth body in the end. And I'll just come in and snip this little tag end off here. All right, so next uh, it's time to wrap the floss. Just gonna get this started. Take touching turns forward. And I'll just tie this off here, a few turns in front and behind of the material, coming with my scissors. Snip off this tag end, and now wrap the tinsel forward, uh, open spiral wraps forward here. And tie this down at the hook eye here. And I'll come in and snip that tag end off. The next step is to throw a couple half hitches in. And come in and snip this white thread off. And finish this hook up with some black thread. I'll just snip the tag off this black thread, and I'm just going to build up the thread enough to add some color here. Watch the thread slipping down into the monofilament like it does sometimes. And once you are satisfied with that, come in and whip finish or throw multiple half hitches in. Now's a good time to hit this head with some cement. And take the hook out of the vise. Now I'm going to grab the front hook. You can really use any hook you want. Uh, the general rule is that it's at least one size bigger than the rear hook. So I'm going to start the same thread, 210 UTC thread in white. I'm going to wind this down to the point of the hook. Then I'll come in with the body I just made and set this on top of the hook shank. Once I've got this oriented straight, I'm just going to take some wraps over the top here. Make sure 
making sure the monofilament stays on top and that the rear hook is riding straight. Of course, you can tie that rear hook in upside down if you'd like. It's personal preference. And once I get up here, I like to tie it off just to secure my work. Then I'm going to come in with some silver tinsel. It's going to be small silver tinsel again. Now I'm just going to wind this down towards the barb. And once I get down here, I'll grab my... I'll grab another section of orange floss and I'm going to tie this in again same thing length of same length as the body tie in the whole tag end try to keep your turns as even as possible if you want to wrap a smooth body I'll throw a half hitch in. Now I'm going to wind my floss here. Take and wind this towards the hook eye and touching turns. And I'm actually letting go of this floss every turn. I'm not just uh, continuing to hold on to it and wind and wind and wind because that would create a rope by uh, letting go and catching it with the other finger every turn. Um, that just helps to keep the floss flat. You can see that I'm winding it and it's very flat and it's not rope-like. So tie off the floss, come in and snip it off. Now I'll grab the silver rib and wind this forward. Once I get up here, I will bind down the material and snip it off. And that is pretty much it for the body. So the next material is some bucktail. I've got some natural bucktail. Grab some white fibers off of this. Separate them into a sparse clump. And I'm going to set this under the, under the hook. And wind down towards the hook eye. Trying not to apply too much pressure here. And that flared out a little bit, but not too bad. Should straighten out. So I'm just going to snip this off. And I'm going to come in and throw a whip finish in because I'll be grabbing some black thread now just to finish this fly. If I switch my thread now, <clears throat> my head won't be so big in the long run. So snip that off and grab some black thread again. The size of this thread is 70 denier. I don't know if I mentioned that yet, but it is a smaller thread. That way I don't build up such a bulky head here. So I've got that attached. Now I'm going to grab uh, some Chinese strung rooster saddle in black. And I'm going to grab about, and I'm going to grab four of these feathers that have about the same curvature to them and about the same length and in width. And I'm going to join the feathers together in pairs. So I've got two here. And I'm just going to tie these on and work my way down towards the hook eye and bring my thread back. Got that one sitting nicely. So I'm going to come in with my other pair here. So I've got these two. I'll set them in on the side here. Take a loose wrap over the top and another wrap in front of that. Just work my way slowly towards the hook eye. Applying moderate pressure here, but not too much yet. I want to check the orientation and make sure these feathers are going to ride properly and line up 
nicely. And that looks good. So I'll bend these stems backwards. Just push them back. Get a bend going. And pinch the whole thing here. And take some wraps in the center. Now I'm going to come in and snip these four stems. And my camera battery died, but I'm back. I've snipped the four stems here, and I've started just working on the head after that. So I've got the stems pretty well covered up, I guess. So now I'm going to grab my whip finish tool, and I'm just going to throw a couple nice, neat whip finishes on here and try to even this out as best I can. I think I need to take a few more wraps here in the center. And then whip finish at the rear. There. Now I'm just going to come in and hit this with some head cement. Uh, you could have used jungle caulk or painted eyes on. I prefer to just leave this pattern as is. Um, I think it kind of imitates a leech pattern. And it, it seems to work good for me on bottom. So uh, try trolling this one deeper than usual. Uh, it also works really good on dark days because it's a dark fly. Um, a lot of you probably know that on o really overcast or rainy days, dark flies seem to be the ticket. <clears throat> so that is the finished fly, guys, the Lady Rangely. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Real quick, I want to throw out there... I might have something really neat in the works, uh, a collaboration with a another YouTuber, uh, not a fly tire though, somebody who does uh, some engineering type tests, which we are working on applying to uh, fly tying in a way. So hopefully that collaboration works out, guys. I don't want to spill the beans yet, but that's definitely something I'm looking forward to in the future. So if you don't want to miss it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Good luck out there, and I'll catch you next time.